to what level can you show yourself love and kindness that it won't be seen as being self-centered and how can it be avoided? <laughs> Again, stop trying to avoid anything. Showing yourself love and kindness, you have to give from your overflow. Now, if somebody said, if you're like, oh, I really need some sleep tonight, you know, and your friend calls you at two in the morning and says, I'm in trouble. Yeah, my car's broke down. Can you come help? And you're like, screw you. I need sleep. That's not kind of the situation we're talking about. Yeah, and showing you love and kindness in that situation is saying, oh, no, my values are, yeah, I want to be able to go help my friend in this situation. If somebody calls you up and say, hey, do you want to go to the freaking nightclub? And you're more into self-care at that point than caring about, yeah, drinking champagne and shaking your body around, then staying in bed's the right call. And sometimes, and ladies, you're, you're more for this, unfortunately. Yeah, <clears throat> the rules that tend to be more predominant based upon feminine energy from a nurturing place is that if I don't contribute, help, and nurture, I'm not a good enough fill in the blank. You know how to say no, some of you, to the point, well, it's me time. Yeah, I'm going to run a bath. I'm going to put some candles. I'm going to lock the door, make your own damn dinner. And I love you. Right? Not every night. But at certain points, you've got to give from your overflow. Because most of you burn yourselves out trying to prove that you're good enough when the biggest lie you keep telling yourself is you feel that you're not. And so showing yourself love and kindness is being kind to yourself, not being arrogant, self-centered, but knowing where to draw that line. It's like, hey, I want to give the best of who I am. Yeah, I'm starting the, uh, the year with a, a, a two-week, I have a, a body transformation system that I teach my, my, my master students. And it's a, a very intense two-week start that triggers the body into certain metabolic processes. And it's pretty strict around six days training, one day off, six days training, you know, one day off as, as the kickstart. Uh, and yesterday was day seven. Um, on that, I got well, six days training, one day off, and yesterday was the first, you know, second part, uh, first part of the second cycle for that. And I woke up yesterday and my body was saying, ah, I haven't got the energy. Yeah, you know, alarm went off about five o'clock. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? And again, I check in. Is this just being, being tired? Yeah, and trying to make an excuse that my mind's going to talk me into, which I can, yeah, shut up and get out of bed. But no, there was a genuine physical feedback of whew, something kicked off. And I, I was, I, I was for yesterday, for whatever reason, you know, I wasn't on full form, very rare for me. I didn't eat. I, I fasted for 24 hours to, you know, allow the body to tune in. Went to bed early last night, bounced out of bed this morning, hit the gym and hit some new numbers. But I knew when to be kind to myself. When to say, hey, yeah, this is not in line with my plan. It never is, <laughs> right? Universe is non-linear. But am I willing to put self-care above? Yeah, people I want to meet, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but yeah if it's my truth. It's not, you know, being self-centered. I'm more important than you, and therefore my needs and desires come yeah, over the yeah, my care about who you are. Well, no, yeah, I need to take care of myself first. Not because I'm selfish and egocentric, but because I want to give for my overflow. And right now, my body's telling me I need to pay some attention to it. I need to have some more sleep for whatever reason. <laughs>